Welcome back to the Local Fit Show. I'm your host Azura and our guest today is Nurul Suhaila, also known as May. Suhaila is a familiar face in the world of martial arts called Silat. First picked it up when she was just 6 years old. She has received numerous accolades for her achievements, for example at the World Pencak Silat Championship and SEA Games. At one glance, you'd never expect her to be a fighter, but gosh, can she pack a punch. On this episode, this beautiful and talented soul shares with us about expectations, progression, and what drives her as a full-time athlete. Talks about dealing with negative vibes such as cyberbullying. Yes, you heard me right. Cyberbullying. Taking life and its struggle as a learning journey and the importance of creating a positive impact. Before we jump right into it, if you want to support us, there are a few ways you can do so. Look us up on YouTube, SoundCloud, and guess what? We are on iTunes now. So, subscribe, share an episode with your friends because why not? That's it. Remember, be bold and stay inspired. Here is Nurul Suhaila. My name is Suhaila. I'm 23 years old and I've been doing silat since 6 years old and I'm now a full-time national athlete. Okay. How how's it like as in being a full-time national athlete? Okay, I think it's great that I get to focus solely on silat because I really had a hard time during poly okay. juggling studies and silat. But um I think there's a lot of sacrifices that needs to be made as a full-time athlete. and you need to have people around you that understand your schedule and your dreams and what you need to do to achieve them. Okay, so I'm going to go back a bit. So you mentioned poly. So before poly, uh, which uh, secondary school did you go to? Uh, I was from Singapore Sports School immediately after primary school. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The uh, sports school was great because they taught us at a young age how to juggle both uh, sports and studies, but it's a bit more easier I guess for me okay. uh, because everyone in sports school did the same thing sports and then we have to study together okay. so it's like a mini community of the same people okay <laughs> so i mean that kind of like um, emphasizes on sports in that sense so it's easier to juggle yeah, right it's easier because to juggle because the teachers and everyone knows what you do and they know like okay if you uh, they will release you for competitions and then if you miss lessons they make up for it okay. yeah Yeah, I think that's a bit different. Yeah, that's that's I think that's the hard part, right? For yeah. you, if let's like, say you have to go for competition, I think not usually the second second school you have to ask permission and stuff yeah. like that, which takes it's quite tedious, yeah. right? Okay, In so sports school is just like okay, go, but then we <laughs> have to make up for mm, it. Of yeah. course. Okay, so after sports schools, you uh, sports school you went to poly. Yes, I which you to, had a struggle. Yeah, I went okay. to Nian Poly, but I was doing mass communication, okay. so it's way off from sports, and. Just because I wanted to do something else that I like other than sports, okay. But I think that's that's how I had a hard time because no one else, I think no one else did sports competitively. Okay. So I was always missing school. I was always overseas, coming back, and then because we have a lot of projects that we work with other people, okay. So they had a hard time communicating with me. And yeah, but I did my best. I deferred a year okay. to compete at the Sea Games. Which and World Championships. I think it was 20... Okay. My last year in poly. Yeah. Okay. My last year in poly. <coughs> I had to defer and then come back a year later. So I graduated with a whole new cohort of people. <laughs> 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 But even, even so, I didn't even graduate. I oh, was yeah. in Rome for a competition and then I just saw like virtual graduation. Oh, seriously? <laughs> It's like, ah, congratulations. Oh, no, but I think, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, because, okay, have you always want to be an athlete? Since young, I mean, do you see this path as in a full-time athlete, mm-hmm. someone that's so committed to the sport that you you're doing right now? I think I only got into it in sports school, so I was trying to do it at six. I didn't know a lot of things, but uh, I think at the point of time I was just doing it as a hobby. Mm-hmm. But then when I got into sports school, then it got a bit more serious, like because I see other athletes who are so passionate and want a future in sports, then. Yeah, influence me a lot, so I wanted to be a full time athlete. Okay. So you mentioned about your support system. I mean, okay. So you the struggle going to poly was that none of your none of the other students were doing competitively and stuff. So you were technically alone, right? Yeah. So how does that feel? I mean, is support system very important in as as an athlete or as as 
okay, let's not talk about athlete as an individual that's pursuing something that you want to do. Yeah, I think for me, what I learned is it's important to have like a group of people who really support you in what you do mm-hmm. uh, and understand your schedule because when I was in poly, I think I didn't have a lot of friends because they just like, you know, like, oh, Soila's always gone okay. and then um, they don't really like support what I, because I think because they don't understand mm-hmm. that it's a commitment for me. Mm-hmm. They think it's like a choice or she just wants to go overseas she just like doesn't want to be in school or something but i think i have like a few group of friends that know that this is something that is important to me and i'm committed to mm-hmm. so um they really help me through my projects like if i'm missing out on uh, certain materials in school they'll be the one backing me out and then yeah okay. that's very important because like a few years i felt really alone and like i was coping on with everything on my own so I was struggling a lot, but in my last year, like I have a few uh, number of friends that really helped me through all of it. Okay, so uh, sports system. How about family? Family, family yes. Right? Of course, uh, my <laughs> parents are my biggest supporters. I would say because uh, they've made so much sacrifices for me throughout my journey, and they really support me in what I do. Okay. And then uh, my friends, I think my. F- like I'm able to keep my my certain group of friends because they really understand my schedule. They really uh, understand that okay, I have to go overseas. I'm gonna miss out on certain mm-hmm. events or like their birthday. Mm-hmm. So it's not uh, it's not something that I want to miss. But as I said, like being a full time athlete, you have to make a lot of sacrifices yeah. for what you want. I mean that that handful of um, I mean they always say right if you have one best friend in your whole yeah. entire life, that's good enough in that yes. sense because. Quality or quantity. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> quality or yeah. quantity. You don't need a lot of friends. I just learned throughout my journey that mm-hmm. I've I've had friends who like Swaila, you're so disciplined, I hate it. Swaila, you're so like okay, I have to go here, I have to go there and then I do it. So mm-hmm. it's just like oh Swaila can't hang out, Swaila can't do this, can't do that. And then they start to like um how should I say it? Uh, not understand that I have to do what I have to do. Okay. So it's like for me, it's kind of like a bad or like negative energy around me. So okay, okay, a very good thing that you brought up. So the negative energy. So how do you? I mean, um, as a as a person, it's very hard for you because you actually that support system is very important yeah. to go through what you 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 go through. As in, you yes, there's only so much that you can hold on to, right? What do you do with the negative vibes and negative energy? I mean, how do you get through that? <coughs> I think uh, for me, it's just important to know whose opinion matters, you know, like uh, people who care for me, I'll, I'll only take their opinion into consideration, okay. but those that I think are just just there to say things, okay. yeah. The genuine, I mean you can say yeah, those who are the genuine, or genuine parents. Yeah, but usually negative energy, I usually just remove myself from that situation. So, but this one you've, you've learned to learn, right? Yeah. You've learned to kind of like pick uh, my, sense, yeah. right? Because pick my company. Some, uh, like I like being around people who are very positive and motivated mm-hmm. and have dreams and mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's good. I mean, that, that's, that's actually good advice because it's very hard for you. Let's because at that age, right? People are always um, very used to uh, what's that called? Not clan lah, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah. You got friends that you stick to and stuff like that. But for you, in order to get, I mean, uh, take away the negative vibes yeah. and stuff, which is it's just. I've, I've lost a lot of friends, but to me, it's okay as long. Um, I know when to stop a friendship and it doesn't contribute to my growth anymore. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's an advice. Yeah. That's, that's, really, that's a really great advice. Okay, going back to Silat. Okay, um, you mentioned that in sports school, you say that's when you, you really got into Silat and access to competitive so. But have you ever thought of trying something else? Because you've done it since yeah. six years old, right? I mean, what is your... I don't know. What would you do if not Silat? I can never imagine myself <laughs> because I've been in it for so long. But I think if I wasn't in Sila, I would still be in Sila in the martial art. In martial art, yeah. Because yeah, okay, I okay. like, I just like the art. I like the aggression. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That's why I say something. Okay, as in okay, the okay the first time where where I I I, I got to know you, right? <laughs> it's like okay, so this girl can fight. I mean, you know, look at her. I mean, you, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have guessed that you would like martial arts you know so okay if not see that what other martial arts will you try mm. but any form of martial arts yeah any form of martial arts wow really yeah I like to try other martial arts 
Okay. I've only ever tried Muay Thai. Okay. That's about it. But how's that? But it, but it's you know, interesting. But <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but the thing is, right? For silat, okay, I'm just going to get uh, every week um, in this this topic in the sense that because. I mean, a, a lot of women actually worry about getting hit on the face, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's... Do you get... I mean, if you want to try... Because it like, doesn't hit you on your face. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, so if you... How, how, how is that? Is it? Okay, I really don't mind. But my mom is just... <laughs> 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 my mom is a bit... <laughs> like, no, take care of your face. Take care. But I really don't mind. Because, I mean, if you love something, mm-hmm. then... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice to hear. So that's actually quite, quite inspirational. Because... Um, a lot of people think that um, like like girls or women like you, right? They they don't they're not, you know. Okay, <laughs> let me just give you. Sorry, I just gonna track back a bit. Okay, so there's a lot of times where where we have conversations and stuff, right? So talk about martial arts, right? People would as one thing that you're you're the kind. I mean, people would think that I might be into martial arts, right? But the thing is, they always tend to like, oh no, I don't think she's into martial arts. So do you get that a lot? Actually, as yeah. In, so I get that a lot, but I think it's not wrong for. <clears throat> A lady to like something that is more dominated in the male community, then, mm-hmm. but they also stick to who they are, mm-hmm. <laughs> and okay. grooming is also I don't know. To okay. me, you can you can be good in both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so I've gotten a lot of like Sila, no. <laughs> you look yeah. Something like oh, what do you work as? Then it's like oh, I'm an athlete. They say oh, I thought you were some stewardess or something, <laughs> but it's it's normal to me. It's normal that yeah. people just just have that. Yeah, they, they, I think I just don't look look aggressive or. Oh yeah. Like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. but they haven't seen you on the 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 the, the what do you call it? Uh, arena. The, the arena. Yeah, yeah. So they haven't seen you in arena. That's why they thought that you are very like gentle, gentle person. <laughs> but you can kick ass, kick butt. I think what is the greatest lesson? I mean, you've been to so many competitions, right? Yes. Um, uh, locally and also internationally, right? So you've you've had the successes and you had the the losses. Uh, not famous, <laughs> la, you don't have famous like the losses in that sense, right? So um, how do you deal with uh, uh, victories? How do you uh, deal with mm. winning a, a match? Of course, I feel proud and happy of myself because mm-hmm. of how hard I train and then I got myself the way I want to be, but. They always say, um, once you're a champion, when you're, once you're off the podium, you're zero. So okay. it's always like, uh, okay, I I'm I win this competition, but I have more ahead. So I, I can't be too complacent or think like, oh, I'm good enough. Mm-hmm. I can do the same at the other competitions. So to me, uh, once I win, there's always uh, things that I still need to work on. So I'll concentrate on that more. So the, the, the lessons in every winning is to improve yourself yeah. in a sense to be the better version yeah. of you. But what is your okay, what is your do, do you have a ritual before a game or, or on the game day itself, sorry, no, mm. I don't yeah, yeah. fight day, fight day itself. Not much <coughs> but I, I'm not much of a talker when I'm thinking about my match. So I'm usually very quiet. Okay. I'll stick to my own music, my playlist mm-hmm. so I can visualize what I wanna do and then uh yeah, just that. Music just helps me through my nerves. Okay, so okay, are you the, you know, some some um, some athletes are the very gung ho one, like, okay, you got to like, rah rah, <laughs> so you are the like, the quiet yeah, one. Yeah, I'm more quiet. Okay. Like, I, I need to <coughs> compose myself. Okay. Yeah. So that's I, how I don't like, like, I, if, if I talk a lot or like do a lot of things, I feel like I'm wasting my energy. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. so I like to. Zen. Zen. <laughs> Zen. Focus. Zen before my fight, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, when um, before every fight is there pressure on you because I mean to be honest with you you're one of the I mean es- you're one of the estab- uh, no I don't want to say established one of the well known things you like female stat yeah you're, you're, you're awesome but I mean do, does it have pressure on you every time you step on the arena <coughs> for me a lot because being a full time athlete, mm-hmm. they expect you to be the best at what you do. Because mm-hmm. like, oh, you're doing it all the time. So how can you not be good? How can you not win? You know mm-hmm. that kind of thing. But I think that's good pressure for me sometimes, mm-hmm. as long as as I don't let it get over my head. Okay, but that, does that ever happen to you? Sometimes, <coughs> sometimes I have doubts about myself. That's the thing I need to work on. A lot of confidence. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, 
I think as long as I know that I've prepared well and okay. I trust my preparation, then, then it's fine for me. Okay. Okay. So, um, mental strength. Yeah. Like so you, I can only control certain things. So, yeah. As long as I give my best, then the results. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. I mean that's a good. I mean because and and the thing I mean and the thing is about it is that. I mean, people around you don't really know how you actually feel, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you are the one that needs to be focused and yeah. get into the arena. No matter yeah. what they say, I mean, in that sense that you're full time, you should know all that. But yeah, it, it really is. Okay. Um, losses. The losses. How do you? I mean, how do you deal with losses? Losses are. Yeah. It's not failure, by the way. <laughs> I mean, losses. I mean, it's a stepping stone, yeah, right? In order for us to get be better. I mean, um, <clears throat> at that moment, maybe I can't. Sometimes I can't handle defeat very well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I think I'll get over it in a few days because I always think to myself, it's okay. I'll go back and train harder and then do better the next time. Okay. Yeah. But how does it is? Does it? Does it? Um, you know, some people hang on to losses for quite some time. Right? But for you, you just. You, mm. you do you okay? Do you rectify or do you try to see what can be done or do you yes, just of course. Okay. Like when I come back, we always have like analysis with our with our coaches, mm-hmm. and see what went what what went wrong and then what we could have done. But then, I mean, life goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we have like more competitions ahead. So, I mean, for major competitions, of course, I think my biggest defeat or like the one that really got me emotional was at. Uh, the world championships because I lost in the finals so okay. to me there was a difference between being a world champion and second place is nothing to me <laughs> so it's really like I took it really <coughs> hard la, for okay. that one but um, but I mean I try to look on the brighter side like okay I'm young and that's only like my second world championships mm-hmm. and I'm, I already reached the final so that to me is progress so mm-hmm. it's okay so I mean, I, I mean that is the thing about being in the finals, right? Yeah. Because you you feel like you're so yeah. close. Because they always say nobody nobody knows about us. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I think I think it's just the, the, the yeah that's true. That's really very very true. So my teammate told me like okay so who lost to Michael Phelps? I'm like I don't know <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, nobody knows. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's that's why athletes say it's just goal or nothing. Yes, yeah. actually that's true. I mean it it's sounds very it thing. sounds very um like. So negative. Yeah, but, but the thing is, it's not. I think I feel that for for athletes, I think it's not that we want to win all the time, but we yeah. just don't like to be defeated. Yeah, you know, it's it ends, <laughs> it's a difference. Yeah, it's a difference. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's nothing to do with ego and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just you know. At, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe we are just you know <laughs> trained that way in that sense. But you're right. Yeah. That, that no one remembers who's the next person. Okay. Um. It's hard in that sense because what is your routine every day? Can you share with us? <laughs> okay, so I train Monday to Friday, uh, usually in the morning and afternoon, mm-hmm. and then night is rest. Okay. But then we always have like events during the weekends mm-hmm. or like we're always overseas, mm-hmm. and in that sense, I don't know. It's it's very tiring to wake up every day and do the same thing. But I always ask myself, okay, am I satisfied with myself? Like. What are my dreams or what are my goals? So okay. I just wake up to make myself better. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, that's a good thing that you touched on because I was about to ask you, what is your why? <laughs> that you wake up every day because yeah. I mean, my drive. Yeah. <laughs> what is your drive? What is your why? As in, I want to make something of myself and make my parents proud. But I think I'm someone who always constantly want to get better at everything. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, can be, it can be a bit hard on myself, but I think I like to see progress in myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I wake up every day just asking myself, am I satisfied? If not, then, okay, then get my ass up. <laughs> <laughs> but, kind of thing. but the thing is, right, I mean, um, but the thing is, are you, are you, are you, okay, I don't, I don't know whether I should ask you, are you happy doing what you're doing now, Sila? I mean, do you see yourself you know, doing silat for, for for how long? For because mm-hmm. I'm sure you have other ambitions. Okay, what is your you have other ambitions that you want? Other ambitions. I think silat. Okay, silat is obviously a big part of my life. Yeah. But I think I want to 
venture out into other things but I'm not sure at this age yet but um, I just want to be more than my occupation okay. <laughs> in that okay. sense like I just I want to make a better impact especially okay. what kind of impact? Like as in what kind of um Okay. <laughs> what kind of impact? Yeah, like, what kind of impact? As if it's something that you would do at the top of your head, something that you just really like, imagine the world without silat. Mm-hmm. No, I just don't want to be someone who just does silat and is so straight. Like she does, she just does what she loves and that's it. Okay. Like I want to like make more change as. Like, okay, if I have a platform and if I'm doing well in what I love, then I want to be, you know, an inspiration to more people. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay. What is something that you really want to venture in? Because I'm very curious. I think I've asked you this before. <laughs> There's something, like, because I'm really very curious. Because I think you're, you're a very genuine person. I mean, because I know you personally. Because, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you know, we've been training stuff. But what do you, what, what is your, the next thing that you want to do? Because I'm really curious. I'm sure... Mm. Because you, yeah, it's very hard. It's very, <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be set in stone, but it's something like you know, like a dream, right? Like a dream. Like, like a dream. Like what? I mean, besides, you know, I don't know. Maybe starting a business because in one way or another, I, 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 you can be influential in your own way. I don't know. It's I don't know. Is fashion your thing or giving back your thing? Fashion is so so like I like fashion but I'm not uh, not that into you. I'm not that <laughs> into fashion. Okay. Yeah, like, okay. like I, I like to look nice, look good, mm-hmm. and everything. But it's not something that I want to explore. But yeah, giving back actually, I really like um, like I get. How should I say it? <laughs> it's okay. You say I'm, what I'm you not sure to. how to like put it, but. Um, I think if I have a bigger platform, then I would obviously want to make, like, change in the world, like, things, issues that matter. Oh, okay, yeah. this is a very good question. What are the issues that matter? Wait, by the way, right, <laughs> you have quite a big platform <laughs> compared to us. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> us combined, okay? But so I wish I, I can make more impact, I would say, yeah. But I'm still working on that, you know. Uh, things, yeah, things that matter, like, you want me to get back to that? <laughs> yeah. to There's so yeah. many things, you know. No, but it's okay. You know? I mean, that's the thing, right? As in, as in, for us to know you a bit better. Because I feel that you're more than just a silly <laughs> You're more than a person. You're a very kind of I'm person. to be. Going back to your support system. Um, we we know your other half is... <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what you want to say? Uh, no, just to look at your boyfriend. Your, <laughs> your other half is your friend. Yeah. Right? I mean... Both of you are in the... Because he has his own training and you have your own training and training must be crazy. Yeah. Right? For both sides. He also travels, right? Yeah, he also travels travel a lot. Right? Yeah. Uh, I think it can get hard because sometimes I don't see him for months. But I think I look more on the positive impact of my relationship with him mm-hmm. because it's nice to have someone in the same line as you mm-hmm. so they understand your mm-hmm. schedule they understand you need to travel they understand that you can't see them all the time mm-hmm. but they will, like he his dreams are as big as mine so cool. it's like yeah it's cool to have someone who is growing with you and chasing the same kind of dreams mm-hmm. as you so yeah in a sense like, he inspires me because he's very hardworking okay. and I've seen the amount of pressure on him but he's always so positive and so willing to learn and be better. So really look, looking at him, um, getting better each day and getting closer to his goals really makes me want to get better myself. That's good. I mean, he's younger than you, right? Yeah, he's two years younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know that she was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, friends is two years younger. Because... I mean, the, the point when you said it's actually very important that your... Because your other half needs to understand yeah. to be in the, the in the journey. Because as athletes, you guys are away most of the time. Trainings yeah. will also take up your time. And sometimes you all don't spend time with each other. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I mean, so you kind of, you're, you're like very used to your, your yeah. schedules in that sense. I mean, it, it was <coughs> hard at some point of time, but I think we see the bigger picture. Like, we just need to grow together and... Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, that's sweet. I mean, that's <laughs> actually that's very nice because if yours, I mean, if you if, if you see the bigger picture and the journey towards it, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're working for a better future for each other, what? So yeah, yeah. So it's okay that we have to sacrifice a lot of things. Now. That's true, and plus you really sacrifice a lot of things yeah. for the things that you want to do. Yeah, that is so nice, so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> okay, no, I want to ask you. Okay, so, um, okay, back to the. Okay, back to no, no wait, no, not that, not yet. No, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, because I mentioned being in the limelight and stuff like that, right? How does that feel? As in, I mean, do you feel? pressurized at times or you just I think I used to be very affected okay by like public opinion okay and <laughs> yeah I used to be very because maybe I was younger and didn't know how to cope with this kind of I don't know okay I yeah. mean in the limelight lah, is in a sense that this kind of uh, I mean I think um, now it's fine for me because I just feel that um, whatever you put out there and whatever people see you as, like you can't control what they think about you. Yes. But what you can control is how you behave, how you, what you portray, what you. Yeah. So as for me, as long as I have good intentions and I want the best for myself and people around me, then really the public doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean that's quite hard. I mean, yeah. last time was very. <laughs> I I mean I can't imagine, but I'm I'm because people are quite sometimes can be quite mean and stuff. Yeah. Like that. So again, like you learn. Last time I was cyber bullied. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like people who is really like anonymously some some not in more un- anonymously so like salute them for their <laughs> bravery, <laughs> courage, you no. Know, but okay. yeah, a lot of people are. I mean, they can say a lot of things online, but they need to know that whatever people portray online is just what they want you to mm. see mm. but we are all human so yeah, yeah. How, how do you deal with that as in the side i mean because you mentioned something about like, when you were younger right and then <laughs> quality in a sense and whatever that negativity yeah. and stuff like that so how, how do you deal with that mm. just to share last time i used to get very <laughs> affected I used to cry over comments you know because people are actually very mean online okay. but I realized that they are only commenting or only condemning me for my looks okay so that's very shallow to me you know because like you don't know who I am yeah. so you don't know me well very enough person, guys. <laughs> Inside, you. Oh, okay. I know personally guys so stop cyberbullying <laughs> Yeah, last time they used to be like, oh, you look like a mouse. You're so ugly. Why is everyone dating you? Yeah, it's very bad last time. <laughs> when I was young, I used to cry about it. But I mean, I realized that they don't know me. Mm-hmm. They don't know me well enough to hate on me mm-hmm. or, um, I mean, call me out for physical attributes. I think it's just very shallow. Okay. That's how I just came to realize myself that, like, these people don't matter, mm-hmm. you know? what my like the only thing that matters to me is the opinion of myself so i just don't let like i don't want to believe their words so okay. yeah okay so i just yes. believe my own words and my mom's <laughs> mom says okay you're beautiful <laughs> <laughs> i'm not scared okay, mama. <laughs> yeah that's, that's the thing right getting rid of the negative right yeah. so that's i mean what, what you really your learning journey like, so it was like, very hard last time but i think i'm proud of myself or, in the sense that I don't get affected by it anymore. Yeah. When people say something, I'll just like, okay, thank you for your opinion. Yeah, that's about it, you know? They don't contribute to my successes or my losses. Yeah. They don't pay for me. They yeah. don't, like, I mean, my parents, right? Yeah. That's the only thing that matters to me. Yeah. They don't contribute to any of my growth. So, I mean, you can take criticism, but make sure that um, it's beneficial for you and not like, like yeah. what else, right? Yeah. <laughs> like okay, I'm not okay, <laughs> and then <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, because you're, le- you're you're younger. I mean, I mean, because you really went through a lot. I think your learning journey has been there and stuff. Okay, anybody in the world, okay, who is your role model or someone that you look up to or inspire you? I think a lot of people will expect me to look up to an athlete because it's in my line. But I think growing up, I actually looked up to 
Emma Watson's. Emma Watson. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> why? Okay. okay. <laughs> like, why? Sorry, sorry. I'm just like, <laughs> no, but I just think that she's so well rounded. Mm-hmm. She's so good in what she does. Like she's for me, she's the definition of like beauty mm-hmm. and brains. Okay. Like she she graduated with like her master's degree mm-hmm. while filming Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. So it's. For me, it's so inspirational because like you're doing what you love, but you also know what's good for uni and education and everything. And she's also like a like she speaks up for gender equality. I think she's a UN yeah. ambassador, right? Yeah. So it's something more than like people just see her. Oh, she's just an act- actress, mm-hmm. but she's not. Huh? She's more than that. Yeah. So I really want to be that kind of person. Like I have like I do something I love, and then I get a platform for myself, and then I make change for. Something that's really so that's the two to three years. That is your, yeah. I mean, that is your two to three years down the road that you would foresee yourself <laughs> doing that, yeah. But what would I you wish to do something like it? I mean, in any, I mean, she speaks for gender equality, mm-hmm. but for me, I'm still open, like in any good that you may bring to the world, so <laughs> any kind of issues, la. no, like, I really want to, like, okay, do things that I love, but I don't just want to do that. I mean, if, if you're gaining platform, if, if you're gaining like an audience mm-hmm. from doing what you love, and then you have the voice to like speak up for more things that matters. Okay. Yeah. Do you see yourself as a role model <laughs> for girls or women out there? I mean, I wish to be, but for now, for now, no, because I just think that there are a lot of things I need to work on myself. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of things I want to be, but I'm not there yet. Okay. So I wouldn't want anyone to look up to me. But why if they really yeah. are looking up to you? I mean, if they do that, it's good. <laughs> okay. Because I, I really want to portray like a positive image. But I just still think that I'm a work in progress for anyone to look up to. Yeah. Why? As in, <laughs> you know, I get, cause I, I mean, I don't know. Cause do you, do you, do you feel, I don't know, do you? Sh- Okay, let me rewind. I want to say this, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> I guess I feel like being someone's idol or someone's role model is a heavy responsibility. It's true, but you do know that, that <laughs> they choose you, yeah. not you choose them in that sense. Because some people because look I've, up I've to heard of so many um, like younger athletes or like younger <clears throat> people who <throat> look up to people just for their achievements, you know. But mm. for me, a role model, I really if I want to look up to someone, I... Of course, yes, what they achieve, but also how they behave, their everyday lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay. it's really not just achievements. It's basically as a whole a person. So they're inside and yeah. outside of a person. To look up to. So it's a, a big responsibility for me. So like, I feel like I'm still a work in progress. I still need to work on some things before I can be someone. Before you feel to. that you are yeah. a role model to someone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's something most people don't know about you that you're really proud of? I think maybe what I'm proud of is I think I'm a person that or I'm a person who never gives up lah. Yeah, cause okay. and I I mean no matter how slow pro- like my progress is, I will still like strive on you know but then because I have like a goal or like goals a lot mm-hmm. of goals and you still like, don't know what goals yeah. right? <laughs> she still doesn't say a goal that is one goal she still wants to ask one goal guys no I, I mean like if I want to achieve something then no matter how slow or how long it takes for me I still work myself towards it okay. three truths or three lessons <laughs> that you want to share if it's your last last day three truths Three truths. Oh yeah, three. You know, to inspire others or ladies and women out there. Yeah, three truths. Is it? <laughs> 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 yeah. What else? Uh, yeah, other than self belief. We don't know what self belief. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the key to a lot of success. Like they believe in them themselves before anyone else. Mm-hmm. So that's one thing to always believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. If you have a goal, if you have a dream, then always believe that you can work towards it and eventually achieve it, no matter how far you think it is, okay. And then 
uh, and in, in order to get there, it's important to have or to choose the company that grows along with you. Okay. Yeah. The people you surround. Yeah. Yourself. People. They always say that. Um, <laughs> The five people closest to you are who you are. Oh my god, just such wise words. <laughs> yeah, so I really take that into consideration. Okay. Like I look around me and then think like, okay, the friends that I associate myself with are they good people that I want to you know bring on my journey, or are they just people who are just there and then don't really contribute to my growth? So I really like that. That's one thing that I really um, rem- uh, try to remind myself like to. Uh, surround myself with positive, motivated people, okay. so that they influence me and I influence them yeah. in like positive way. Like, so we grow together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, to hmm. <laughs> 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 lastly, if you have a goal mm-hmm. or a dream, then there's always a way to get there. Yeah, as long you have a dream, as long you have a vision, then yeah, yeah. you you'll do whatever it takes, yeah. right? But uh, okay, I want to add this, but it's also very important because when you start something, it might not seem like it's possible. Yeah, but you just got it. Like, the first part is always the hardest. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's true. But once you get into it, once you put in. Uh, if you know that you put in a lot of effort and you know you put in your all then no matter how it turns out like, you're still going to learn along the way there's something that you gain from that yep. it's never like failure yep. for me it's true <laughs> so wise so young so wise <laughs> <laughs> okay I think it's going to be hard okay what is your definition of legacy, legacy. <laughs> I thought about it okay. yeah <laughs> I didn't read up the definition just, just in case I get influenced by it <laughs> but I just I think legacy is when you make uh, an impact, a positive impact on people's lives mm-hmm. and then they remember you for it. Okay. Yeah. So Even you, after you've moved on from the event time mm-hmm. or like you've passed on, like, people still remember you for what you did. Okay. We still want to know your goal. So many goals. But yeah, it's okay. Okay, in Silat, my goal is to not just be like a champion but like multiple champions at competitions. Okay. And then, I mean, in that way then I gain a lot of experience then I can influence younger athletes. Mm-hmm. And, but as a person, my goal is to just really be happy with myself. Okay. And then no matter what uh, success I achieve, then to never stop growing. Yeah. Okay, that's why we should know you more. Okay, um, five seconds. I want to think about it. That's how you are. I don't want to. Well, I'm not joke. Five seconds. Okay, five seconds. This is I think this is gonna be a bit challenging for her because Sila is as well. Okay, so what is the craziest thing that you do without Sila right now? Five seconds. What craziest thing that you would do without Sila. The Sila doesn't exist. Five seconds. Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Four and a half. I guess it's something, but it doesn't work out. No, right? but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Craziest thing yeah. that I'm gonna be. A travel blogger. Travel blogger. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because I love traveling. I think getting to know different culture and different people, different places, it'll make me just a whole different person. Oh, there you see, you got your going. Yeah, she's <laughs> <laughs> got her. She's a three years old. Maybe we don't see that. Yeah. I mean, it's so nice, right, to just travel and write mm-hmm. about yeah. your experiences. That is a job. <laughs> <laughs> it is a job, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, Okay. so um, is there anything that you want to share before we close this conversation, before we end this conversation? This beautiful conversation that I know you want to end, but yeah, is there anything? <laughs> anything that I want to say? Yeah, to share. To share. Now I'm thinking of a cheesy quote. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. What I want to share. Very indecisive. <laughs> if you realize, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, nothing much. Really? <laughs> Just be kind always. Do anything or anyone. Yes, that's true. So to yourself firstly. Yes, actually, that's true. It's always taking care of yourself yeah. first, right? Before you first be kind to yourself, then you can be kind to everyone. That's true. That is very true. So wise. <laughs> okay, so um, 
Swaila. Oh yeah, I want to ask you, why do people call you May? May. Oh, because M-E-I. people um people call her May, yeah. and I, which I don't know also. But it came from May May, which is younger yeah. sister. Uh, yeah, okay. Because my uh my grandma uh, my grandma is Chinese. Okay. So at the point of time, I was the youngest among my cousins, uh-huh. my relatives. Okay. So she is May May May. It's a yeah, if, really from younger than now then it's short form now May. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so everybody calls her May. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> from my nene. From your nene. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so okay, so where can we find you? As in on your, do you have Instagram? Uh, uh, I'm on Instagram mostly. Okay. <laughs> and Nurul Sail. Is that you? You're gonna find me. Like okay, Nurul Sail. So you're not going to Yeah, you can follow my journey. I guess. Okay. So uh, only on Instagram at Nurul Sail. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, for having me. No, thank you so much for doing this. I mean, yeah, again, I, I want to say that she is uh, such a kind soul. Yeah, it's like the biggest one million. That's all I want to be. No, <laughs> Someone but, is very kind. No, but it's, okay, it's true. But because, it, again, it, it always, it usually is, you need to get to know a person to know. I mean, because if I don't know her, right, I would think that, you know, she, she's just, you know. <laughs> just another travel <laughs> <laughs> Just another travel doctor, right? But, you know, <laughs> So I'm really very blessed to have known you because she's really got friends. So not only just a few things. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.